ஹலோ எவ்ரி ஒன் வெல்கம் டு கேட்ஸ் ஒன் மை செல்ஃப் இஸ் கவிப்ரியா அண்ட் திஸ் இஸ் ஷெரினா டுடே சிஎம்ஜி பண்ண போகிறாங்க தெர்மோ டைனமிக்ஸில் என்னென்ன டாபிக்ஸ்னா எனர்ஜி ஃபார்ம்ஸ் ஆஃப் எனர்ஜி ஒர்க் ஹீட் அண்ட் ஸ்பெசிஃபிக் ஹீட் ஸோ ஃபர்ஸ்ட்லி வில் பி சீங் அபவுட் ஃபார்ம்ஸ் ஆஃப் எனர்ஜி தேர் ஆர் டூ ஃபார்ம்ஸ் ஆஃப் எனர்ஜி தட் இஸ் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ஒன் இஸ் மேக்ரோஸ்கோபிக் and second one is microscopic the larger amount of energy forms or the greater energy forms are called as macroscopic and the less amount of energies are called as microscopic the example for macroscopic are kinetic energy and potential potential energy for microscopic so many energies like uh, uh, latent heat energy sensible heat energy nuclear nuclear energy chemical energy these all energies which are smaller in amount than these kin- kinetic and potential energy comes under microscopic energy so these are the forms of energy now we'll be going on into work work is work is also an energy so the si unit is joule for it si unit is joule for work and this work it is obtained the energy obtained from potential difference the energy obtained from potential difference is called as work and the si unit is joule so work it is divided into two that is negative and positive work so when we consider a system work is done on the system and work is done by the system so work done on the system is negative and work done by the system is positive this negative work done on the system is compression and work done by the system it is expansion so these are the two uh, two different that is negative and positive work now when we draw a graph between p and v that is pressure and volume Uh, and we consider this particular area the area in this pv graph which is under under this pv graph the area under pv graph is called as work so that we can we, uh, we can represent it as p is equal to w is equal to p into v so the uh, different formulas to calculate work are w is equal to p dot v w is equal to integration of p dot dv and w is equal to integral of v dot dp so this is all about work now we'll come into heat so heat is also a form of energy and in the same way the si unit for heat is uh, joule and this heat is the energy obtained due to temperature difference and even heat it is of two types that is positive and negative when we consider in the same way when we consider a system heat will be supplied to the system and heat will be rejected by the system so heat supplied is positive and heat rejected is negative so this is about uh, the two types of heat now we consider uh, when we consider a graph between temperature and entropy ts and the area under the ts graph this area which is when we draw this ts graph the area under this ts graph is called as heat so when we write the formula for heat q is equal to t dot s and the various formulas are this is number 1 and number 2 is q is equal to integral of t dot ds and the third one is q is equal to minus integral of s dot dt so this is all about heat and now when we come to specific heat specific heat is denoted by capital c and this specific heat this is uh, defined as the amount of heat amount of heat required to rise a unit of mass uh, rise the temperature of one unit of mass per degree celsius so specific heat is the heat required to increase the temperature of a unit of mass per degree celsius this is specific heat and it is represented by this uh, capital c so there are two types for gases uh, f- with constant pressure the first one is with constant pressure we get q is equal to m cp dt 
and for constant uh, volume we get q is equal to m c v d t so these are the two formulas uh, c p by c v is equal to gamma uh, this is an important term and gamma here represents adiabatic index when we see cp and cv cp will be always greater than cv which from which we infer that gamma will be always greater than 1 so cp is greater than cv and so gamma will be always greater than 1 now we uh, we can see about three types of gases monoatomic gases diatomic gases and triatomic gases for monoatomic gases the for example for monoatomic gases helium uh, for helium and all other monoatomic gases the gamma value will be 1.67 and for diatomic gases for example oxygen the gamma value for all diatomic gases will be 1.44 and for triatomic gases for example uh, carbon dioxide when we take co2 or other triatomic gases the gamma value will be 1.33 sorry 1.3 okay today cm jirena patana energy forms of energy work heat specific heat adare various ellame patom idana ga explain panna sherina thanks thank you, thank you.